10 years ago. She was so unique, so beautiful, and they took that away from me. The family of 15-year-old Mariah Gonzalez. No words to, other than to say I miss her. Grieved, the teen stabbed to death, her body discarded and burned on a lonely road in Innes. 10 years later. We're very blessed for this to be happening, but it brings up a lot of memories, a lot. Wounds are being reopened, but for a positive reason. It just all hit us all at, all at once. Gonzalez's sister Danielle says it all here. One of her suspected killers, Jennifer Puente, has been on the run ever since Gonzalez died in March of 2012. Joe Alvarado already sits in a Texas prison facility for the crime. He, Puente, and Gonzalez all hanging out together. When Alvarado testified, he saw Puente kill the teen at his mother's home. Later, police say he would help Puente dump and burn the body. She had so much to say, so much charisma. While Gonzalez's family wept at this vigil, police were tracking the pair. They found Alvarado at a Grand Prairie hotel, but Puente escaped. We just knew that, you know, her day was going to come someday, but we didn't know when. This week, NSPD saying that police in Mexico alerted DPS they had captured Puente. The details behind it all not public yet. NSPD confident they have their suspect, but waiting on extradition to officially confirm the case is closed. Someone had sent them an address of where the perpetrator lives in Mexico. The capture happening weeks after Gonzalez's sisters went on the True Crime Broads podcast. They offered the co-host an address where Puente might be. Found out who was in charge of the case and sent it straight over. NSPD says it's too early to tell if it aided in the arrest, but what matters most is this family is finally getting justice, even if it's 10 years late. In Ennis, I'm Matt Howerton.